I thought it was interesting when you talked about grace within a relationship. What did you mean by that? Well, I think nobody's perfect. Um, and as human beings, we're all going to mess up and step in it from time to time. Um, and, and I think the hope is that you don't step in it so deep that you can't get out of it. But I think that's where that grace comes in. And, and, you know, I'm still learning. Our team is still learning. Um, and so as we continue to explain and demonstrate um, internal audit's purpose and capabilities to the organization, there may be some times where there's a little bit of um, what I call sandpaper moments between, you know, ourselves and another part of the organization. And those are learning moments. And that's where I think um, in that relationship, they may know who I am um, and know that my primary function at the time was risk management. And so that's this a little bit different, but they may not understand that because like I said, internal audit is a fairly new new thing for the organization. Um, so other areas of the organization that maybe haven't, or other people within the organization that maybe haven't had that interaction um, with uh, internal audit may perceive that maybe we're not as helpful as we could be yeah. or yeah. Um, or that we should be doing more. Um, and I understand that impact um, but that's when we have to really kind of sit back and get comfortable into that place of, well, we, we, we could, um, but there are two pillars of what we're trying to do here to, to stay within, within our boundaries. And I think, yeah, that's another, um, that's another facet of relationships that I think is not given enough um, understanding that is boundaries. And I think boundaries are an incredibly fair thing. And I think some of the best relationships that you have in both personal and professional lives are the ones where boundaries are very clear and distinct.